who had been stabbed multiple times. He gave uh, the police the name of the person that stabbed him and said he was still in a house a little further down the road. Um, so after gathering that information, the initial officer and his backup and his sergeant, who also showed up, uh, approached the other residents, uh, went up, asked, you know, knocked on the door, see who was there. An another man came out and said, hey, I wasn't involved in any of this. And he went out and left the door open and they could see what turned out to be our suspect sitting inside on the couch. So they walked in, tried to make contact with him. Um, very quickly, according to the, to the officers that witnessed this, uh, this individual jumped off the couch, uh, attacked the first officer that walked in, stabbed him on his left arm, a really bad cut on his left arm. Um, and that, uh, the, the sergeant that was in there was, was in the less lethal mode. He had his taser, hopefully be able to use that, but, 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 uh, and I believe he tried to, but unfortunately the officer had already been stabbed. The officer did uh, fire a, a couple of shots with his rifle and one with his pistol. We're looking into whether why he transitioned, but, but he did that. Um, the suspect was shot and, and died there at the scene. Uh, the officer that was involved in this uh, uh, been on for 16 years. His name's Stephen Brown. It's his first shooting. The suspect here, his name's Brandon Peters. He's Did a white Brandon male, Peters continue years old. to come after that officer even after he had stabbed him on the arm? I think it was all just a, a you know, kind of a continual fight there. I mean, he stabbed him and then he was shot. So I think it was kind of that quick. I, I, I don't have that kind of detail yet. They haven't even made it into the house yet. Any idea what that was about? I don't know what it was about, but I do know that uh, I'm, I'm told that that individual was stabbed 10 or 11 times and is in life-threatening condition at the hospital. And Peters, he was in his own home when the officers? I believe that was his home, yes.